that looks good. I got a new light and it now has a remote control, which is what the other light lacked. I liked the other light, the Falcon Eyes, but this light, it has a remote, well, an app. So I like that. I'll tell you guys more about that later, but something came in the mail and it kind of couldn't be better timing because I think I told you guys before, right before Lake Powell, my Rode NTG, the, the mic, the mic that I use for most things. It's the mic that's normally up here recording these videos. And it's also the mic that I put on my camera. It, it broke. One of the channels just went out and all of a sudden I only had one channel working. So I actually switched to the Rode Video Micro right before Lake Powell. The Rode Video Micro. It's a, it's a great little mic, but just a couple days ago, look what came. The Deity D4 Duo. And this mic, it's, it's very clever and I like clever. Before we jump into this microphone though, do the YouTubery, hit that like button. Maybe you think about subscribing to this channel. Maybe you, you comment below. Let me know what you think about this new microphone or be just super awesome. Head over to the first link in the description, pick yourself up a t-shirt. All right, getting into the D4 Duo and I've actually already taken out of the box and I've been playing with it and and it is really clever. And I'm excited about this mic for, for a few reasons. See, the, the reason that I've always liked the Rode Video Micro, I recommend this mic to, to most people just getting into creating videos, whether you're using a GoPro or an Osmo Action, or maybe the ZV-1 or an A6600, or, or even, even this kind of camera. I think this is a really good microphone. Why? Well, it's 60 bucks, so super cheap. But it's also, it's, it's really good results for a low price. It's very lightweight, so it doesn't add any weight to your rig, really. You almost can't tell that it's up there. And by the way, it doesn't take a battery. So you don't have to charge a battery. You don't have to replace a battery. It's, it's just plug it in ready to go. So the main reason that I recommend it is because with this microphone, it's it's very minimal effort for pretty solid results. It sounds good. And I've actually been playing with the idea that this would be my main vlog slash travel microphone. So when we go out traveling, I don't have to worry about charging my microphone or swapping the batteries at night. I can just keep this in my bag, pop it out, plug it in, ready to go. And oh, by the way, it comes with a dead cat. So no additional charge, 60 bucks, and you get yourself a dead cat. And now in comes the Deity D4 Duo, and they make a lot of the same promises. It's pretty small, very lightweight. It's, I would say, similar in size to the Rode. I think the Deity D4 is a, it's a little bigger, but it's, it's not much, it's not significant. Uses a really similar shock mount. I'm pretty sure they're both rye coat actually. And it's it's the same thing. It's very minimal effort and pretty solid results. No battery required, just plug it in and you're ready to go. And oh, by the way, it comes with dead cats. Two dead cats to be exact. And that's where the whole duo thing comes in. This is not just one mic, it's two mics. There's one microphone shooting forward, your normal microphone, and then one microphone shooting backwards, a second microphone, which also does make this mic a little bit more expensive at $90. So $30 more than this microphone, but you, you're getting two microphones. And by the way, there's an audio input on the side, which kind of acts as a splitter. I'll explain that in a minute. First though, let's tackle this whole two mics thing. Why would you want a microphone that shoots forward and backwards at the same time? Well, one, vloggers like us. See, normally what happens when I'm out filming something is I have to choose where my audio comes from. Pretty much with a shotgun microphone, the, the idea with this microphone is that it picks up audio here in front of the camera, but not on the side so much and not on the back so much. So it's it's very focused in front of the camera. It's, it's trying to pick up the audio from in front of the camera. Now that's great when, when you're out vlogging, when you're, when you're just walking around like this doing a normal vlog. But sometimes, often actually, maybe you wanna show something like, like you say, hey, check out this sweet box, oh my goodness. And then you get behind the microphone and now everything back here, it, it doesn't sound very good because I'm not in front of the microphone, I'm behind it. The microphone is actively trying to reject my voice. So a lot of times what I'll end up doing in that scenario is I'll actually take the microphone off of the cold shoe, flip it around, 
put it in backwards so now the microphone is facing me and then I'll walk around and I'll film something so I can narrate and I can be like here's here's this thing and here's this thing and oh by the way here's the here's the V mic duo box it's it's very interesting or let's say I go up and I'm filming myself and then I turn it around and Morgan is talking and she says something to me now I'm filming her recording her voice but then I say something and you kind of can't hear it and then she says something you can hear it and I say something and you can't hear it you, you see where I'm going with this. So as a vlogger, as somebody who is behind the camera and kind of on camera at the same time, having a microphone that would pick up your subject, who you're filming, and what's behind the camera at the same time, kind of, kind of sweet. And by the way, it records it to two separate channels, so I don't have to use the audio coming from behind here. And oh, by the way, you can choose whether you want audio just coming out of the front or whether you want to use that back microphone. So, little switch up top here, I flip this switch. Now I'm using both microphones, one channel going into here, the other channel going in here, and the other switch. Now I'm just using my front microphone. So I can choose when I want that, and then I can just flip this really quickly, and boom, now I'm now I'm recording behind the camera as well. So very clever, but it even goes further because with that, they put an input on the side of the microphone, a small little mic input so that you can take another microphone and you could plug it in here. Now, it would be silly to take a mic like this and plug it in, but what would be really cool and, and what I'm excited to try out is taking something like a wireless go. Being able to plug in my wireless receiver here, mount it somewhere on my camera, and then be able to have somebody out there with a wireless lav that's recording to one channel while this microphone is recording right in front of the camera. Or if I wanted to record my audio and I wanted the person that I'm filming to be on a lav, I would just turn this whole setup around. So now this mic would be filming me and the lav would be picked up by the second channel. Pretty dang clever and a lot of really cool options that you could do with a microphone. It's basically two mics in one and an audio splitter for $30 more than the Rode Video Go. Video Go? Video Micro. Okay, those are all the features of the two mics, but let's let's give them a little test because if this Deity D4 Duo, if it's if it's as good as this, then for $30 more, I get an extra microphone and the ability to split the channels and plug in a second microphone. So in that case, I would I would for sure be going with the Duo. So let's try the Rode first, and we're gonna be filming from in front of the camera and behind the camera. So first, let's do our, our front camera recording. I'm just gonna pop this in front of you guys. All right, the Rode Video Micro. How does the Rode Video Micro sound? I'm in front of the camera. I'm, this is this is vlogging distance, so this is how far I would be holding the camera if we were walking around, out traveling. How does the Rode Video Micro sound? Okay, and now this is the Deity D4 Duo. I'm only using that front microphone, so I have a little switch clicked, so now I'm only on the front mic. Same thing, I'm arm's length away, so this is how we would be vlogging. How does how does the Deity D4 Duo sound? Again, if it sounds as good as this mic, but I also get two mics in one and a splitter, ah. So what do you think? Does it sound as good as the Rode Video Micro? This is the Deity D4 Duo. Okay, that's a great test and all, but let's get to the test that really kind of shows off the, the rear mic capabilities and why, why you would want that in the first place. Here is the Rode Video Micro. So this is in the scenario where I'm filming somebody else or maybe I'm filming something, I'm behind the camera, but I want to talk to the camera. So we're just gonna film, oh, here, we'll film you guys. This is the Rode Video Micro. I'm behind the camera. I'm I'm nice and close. This is kind of how I would be. My guess is that this is going to sound very roomy. This is going to pick up a lot of the room noise because basically my voice is bouncing off of things and then going into the microphone. So this is the Rode Video Micro from behind the camera. And then popping this guy off, we're going to throw that D4 Duo back on there. And and this is this is clever because all I do is make this one little switch. Boom. And now we hit record. All right, this is the Deity D4 Duo. I'm behind the camera. Same thing, I'm nice and close. One nice thing too is that they actually reduced this rear microphone by negative 10 dB. So they know that on the front mic, when I'm out here like this, I'm gonna be a little further away. I'm holding my, my arm out. I'm trying to get that wider shot. But then when I'm recording to the rear mic, I'm gonna be nice and close to the microphone. So the front mic is set to zero dB and the rear mic is set to negative 10 dB. Pretty, pretty clever. Oh, that's hilarious. It's so weird when you listen to it because 
on, on headphones, it's sending one channel to one ear and one channel to the other. So if I go like this, I can hear the front mic on the Deity D4 Duo. And if I go like this, I can hear the rear mic. And the front mic sounds, it sounds just like the Rode Video Micro, which is pointing forward. So very, very roomy. And then when I listen to the other ear, which is the, the rear mic, it, it sounds like I'm speaking directly into the microphone. And from those tests right there, I would say that the front microphone pickup on both of these is really, really similar. I didn't really hear much difference difference between the front mics, but then of course when I was behind the camera and I was able to turn this mic on, I, it sounds just like I'm speaking into the front mic, but I'm behind the camera. Whereas this guy, if I'm behind the camera, it's really roomy, it's really, it, it's not ideal. And with them both being lightweight microphones, they both have dead cats with them, they're both on Ryko shock mounts, neither of them require a battery, they're both kind of stuff it in your bag, pull it out when you need it, plug it in, it's ready to go. I. I think the Deity D4 Duo is gonna be my new recommendation. I think this is the mic that I'm gonna recommend people have because for $30 extra, it gives you the same quality as the Rode Video Micro, but you get the added versatility of a second microphone and an audio input. Yeah, I can say pretty confidently for right now, for GoPro action cameras, Osmo actions, ZV-1s, A6000s, and, and I'm gonna test it really heavily because I'm gonna use this as my main vlogging microphone for a while, maybe maybe a month or two, and figure out if if it's worth it to have something like an NTG or a Video Mic Pro that's that's big, that's heavier on top, that requires a battery. It it might just make more sense to have one of these. And for all the smaller cameras, for sure one of these, because the big mics on the small cameras, uh, it's just a hassle. And can I get better audio quality on top of this camera with a Video Mic Pro or with a Rode NTG? Absolutely, that's why those mics are more expensive. But does it matter if I'm vlogging? Probably not. If you're doing client work, if you're charging somebody for it, I would say spend the extra time, spend the extra effort, the extra money for a more expensive microphone, spend the time dialing it in, getting it just right. But if you're vlogging, if you're just making fun videos, this this thing is gonna, it's gonna do 80, 90% of what those big mics do. And you never have to replace the battery or remember to charge it. And uh, yeah, that's, this thing's clever. I, I like it. I'm a, uh, yeah, I'm a fan. Minimal effort. Very, very solid results. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having a lovely Sunday. And oh, I, I will tell you about the drone, an update on the drone uh, this week. I don't know which video this week, but in one of the videos this week, I will, I'll explain what happened to the drone, where the drone is at in the process right now, and in the future of the drone. I had plans to do something this weekend, but it, it fell through. Plans fell through, it happens. But get out there this weekend, have some fun, try hard, take chances. I'll see you soon, bye. Wait, check this out, I can, I can turn my light off with my app. Huh? Oh, maybe not. I can turn it up and down, I can't. Then why can't I turn it off? There's no off button on the app. Oh, well, that's stupid, come on. What are you eating, bub? What are they called? Can you say raisin? Raisin? Can you say it? That's pretty good.